If you like our videos, consider checking out our Patreon. <laughs>4 martial arts movies because first we watched A Fight for Honor oh. 1992 and there ain't goddamn much martial arts in it. There's a lot of talking about martial arts in it and a lot of running. There's a lot of running and standing under cold fountains. And whatever. We'll get, and we'll get to all the fucking that. I don't know and you're like, oh my god. Because it starts off with this chick losing this tournament and you're like, oh, martial arts right off the fucking bat. Thank you. That's going to be all you see for a fucking minute. <laughs> for a, a, a long time, yes. Because we cut to this delivery dude on his fucking bike riding around the streets for fucking ever. Looking like Waldo. I know, fucking worst uniform ever. No, Hacienda's uniforms are the worst That's fucking true. uniforms That's ever. True. Yes. <sighs> so we oh, cut to Crystal oh, at home, which is still sad about losing the tournament, and her mother comes in and tells her, give up that Taekwondo shit, you suck. Crystal, I hope that you're not still upset about losing today. No, Mom, I'm not. Well, that's good, because it isn't like you haven't lost before. How many tournaments has it been this year? Three, Mother. Three. And how many won? None, Mother. Well, don't you think it's about time you tried something else? Why not pick up on your tennis again? You were doing so well at it, too. Yeah, Mom's real great with Yeah, she's real supportive in this fucking movie. You suck balls. I don't even know why you're doing this, you stupid bitch. <laughs> but her friends come over to, like, you know, cheer her up. Hey, Tiger. Oh, are you bummed out about the tournament still? Well, look, come with us. We'll show you a great time. We know how to cheer you up. Who says I want to be cheered up? Come on, Chris, snap out of it. Let's do something exciting, something fun. Yeah, so you lost. Big deal. Look, there'll be plenty more tournaments. Yeah, let's go party. There's this great new bar in town. There are so many hugs. Say, that sounds like a great idea. All right, go with them, Crystal. I'll loan you my credit card. How about it? Hey, yeah. Been stuck in a turn off their wall TV and stuff like that. Let's go, Chris. Dirk's waiting out in the car, and you know how impatient he gets. Go with them, Crystal. It'll do you some good to get out more. You're going with us whether you like it or not, and that's right. final. Come on. Yeah. Come on. One, two, <laughs> three. Yeah, oh. we got her. Let's go. Come on. We'll have fun, but not too much fun. I want my credit card back in one piece. Uh, no problem. We'll take care of her, right, Sin? No problem. Have fun, girls. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, girls. And tell Dirk hello for me. Bye. And we can't forget that Mom talks some shit right after they leave. Why couldn't I have a normal daughter who likes tennis, horseback riding, or boys? No, mine has to like Taekwondo and beating up people. Mom's kind of an asshole. So they're out, you know, they're out, you know, about to have fun when they run into this movie's toughs, you know, yes. beefy Billy Zabka here. And for, you know, yeah, Kmart like, beefy what, they're just Billy they're Zabka. They're waiting yeah. for anybody to walk by and just be like, hey, oh, you But they, they harass the dude of the group. Right. Well, you better keep your hands off her buckle before I give you in your face. Hey, oh. guys. We've got us a plastic surgeon here. You know, I never liked my face. I don't know, what do you think? It's too pretty. Hey, let's give the doc not only a new face, let's give him a whole new body. Yeah. Crazy. Just let us go, okay? We don't want any trouble. Trouble? I'm not going to give you any Christy. trouble. Christy. 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 Christy
You guys are asking for it. Okay. Uh, let's start with his nose. You know, I never like big noses. They tend to stick into other people's bits. And then they beat his fucking ass. Dude, they whooped him down. No, I think surgeon. <laughs> I think I don't like his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he falls to fuck the fair. It's like five on one. And he falls to the ground, and the cops come, which is great because you don't see shit. All you see is this one flashing red light, not red and blue. Somebody was holding, and then it fades because yeah, you know somebody right off camera was holding a light because they couldn't afford to rent a cop car. They couldn't even ask a cop to be involved in this movie. Yeah. Well, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Too bad you couldn't get a blue light, too. You only had a red, you know? So we cut to the delivery kid training with his grandfather. His slow... YK Kim almost, like, slow talking. Dude, holy shit. If he talked any slower, I'd be, like, in a coma. Well... Yeah. Grandpa does give a little bit of a pep talk to the grandson here. Someday you will find out just how unskilled you really are. And then you will wish that you heated my wool. Is there any more water? Yeah. So you think I have no chance at this tournament, Grandfather? You are good, but there are many who are far better. But if you concentrate, train hard, and discipline yourself, you should be able to be very well. But if you do not win, you will have nothing to be ashamed of. You will at least have done your best. I will be proud of you. But I know you want me to win. This is not about what I want or what don't want. Taekwondo is not about winning or losing. It is about learning. Learning about respect. Learning about inner peace. Knowing these things will guide you for the rest of your life. That is all I ask of you. But I do know about these things. You know nothing. It is not the physical that I'm talking about. It is the spiritual. Yes, your hand may break a boat, but it is only through inner peace that you will come to know true strength. This is such a pussy. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa Chuck. Very. Very, and you're like, huh? <laughs> oh. it, was like, it was like, it was like, it, it was like with YK Kim and Ron Coons were smushed together, yes. and it was this fucking you know, guy. Every scene took an hour off your life. <laughs> Speaking of, we cut to Sensei Meatloaf here, the evil Cobra Kai Sensei, like that we only see in this one fucking scene. Fighting is an art. In fighting, you must never lose, no matter what you have to do. Anyone who fights you is your enemy. And an enemy must be destroyed. In the tournament, you will be confronted by your enemy. You must defeat him. Failure to do so will bring disgrace upon yourself, your dojang, and your master. The tournament is very near. You must work hard. You must push yourself hard. You must think tournament, eat tournament, sleep tournament if you expect to be victorious. Tell, you, tell him what else he did. Eat pizza? What else was he Oh, what else he, oh he replaced Gunnar Hansen in yeah. um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That was, that was it. Way to go, guy. I walk in and my instructor is that fucking fat. I'm like, yeah, I do not trust this dude to help me defend myself. He can't even defend himself from diabetes. So fucking Sensei Meatloaf here fucking calls out Chris. Those of you who cannot do this would give it up now. Comprende? Yes, sir! A fucking dick bag. Yeah, you know, you're not supposed to do that. And then he gets pizza from the delivery kid, goes into his office, and tries talking delivery kid into joining his fucking dojo. So what do I owe you? That's a medium pepperoni. Uh, it'll be $12.55. Mm. Oh, 
Uh, smells good. Pepperoni, I love it. Uh, say, you're, uh, you're Korean, aren't you? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, well, you must already know about all this stuff, huh? Take one dough, you know. Well, I've studied a little. Oh, yeah? Well, what uh, dojang you study at? I work out at home. Uh, my grandfather's been teaching me. What? You've been learning from an old man? You can't get any proper training that way. What you need is a real teacher who can make a real fighting machine out of you. You need a master like me. No, seriously. My students are the best in the state. They destroy all the competition they come up against. How would you like to come home wearing a gold medal? Bet your old man would be impressed by that, huh? I don't know. Look, here's my card. Think it over. And when you want to start training like a pro, you call me. And since I like you, I'll give you a good deal. I like winners on my side, and that's what I think you are. Did he notice anything yeah, from the kid that he's made He's like, we like winners here. Look at this trophy. These I couldn't big, think of the word. big, stupid yeah. trophies that mean nothing. You, go. you know, all trophies are dumb. Yeah, you know, pretty much. Good job. Trophy. A trophy, trophy, of a person trophy. like there's like there's landfills of trophies. Yeah. You know? So we cut to outside where the bullies are giving Chris fucking shit. Right. Little Miss Ninja. I heard you had a run in the other night with some street punks. What do you want, Bobby? Oh, nothing. I just thought you might need a strong, handsome bodyguard around. You never know when one might come in handy. Well, when I need one, I'll find one. Hey, where are you going so fast? You haven't even heard my offer yet. I'm not interested. Why don't you just leave me alone? Come on, Chrissy. What do you want from me? Just come have a drink with us to celebrate our victory. What victory? You know, the tournament next month. We, all, we always bring home the gold, right? Peace. Well, some of us do anyway. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that, did I? No, no. Let's just go down the 6th Street and party a bit. And then you and I go back to my place and work out. What do you say? Thanks, but no thanks. If I wanted an animal pawing on me, I'd go to the pound. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, babe. Quit playing hard to get. You know you want me. And then delivery dude's just trying to get through, for so no reason. they give him fucking shit for no reason. But later on, dude, Billy is supposedly fucking Chris's boyfriend. She yes, says it in a later scene. I don't think we knew that whole time. Yeah. Right? There's like, why is he being a fucking dick to her if they're together, which we never see them together? I don't know. It doesn't fucking But I love how they immediately go after, like, delivery dude, and he was just trying to get through. Yeah. He didn't do anything. The whole dude, he's like, I'm to deliver your <laughs> egg rolls <laughs> elsewhere. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'm like, dude, I was just trying to get through. Yeah. So anyway, we cut to Mom in her crazy hot tub, right? And Chris sits down, and guess what? Mom sucks. I'm thinking about quitting. Oh, that's good. Why, that's awful. Why? It's those... Never mind. It's just not what I thought it would be. It's all fight, 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 kill, crush, destroy. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? No! I don't know. There just has to be more to it than that. I'm going to take a shower. Dude, that hot tub was awesome. You know, who wouldn't want that fucking thing like a waterfall slash hot tub in your house? So now we cut to the more backyard training where delivery kid, his brother and grandpa are fucking trying to break bricks oh, for fucking ever! For eight minutes. It's not like fucking blood sport where they do dim mock it and they break it. You're like, oh, no. This takes... Dude, their montage scenes are not like montage scenes. They take an hour apiece yeah. to happen. They're not montages. They're just full fucking scenes. <laughs> yeah, that are supposed to be montages. But anyway, old man talks. You forget your breathing exercise. What good would that do? I, I need a sledgehammer to break that brick. And then breaks a fucking brick. Taekwondo is here. Taekwondo is here. Taekwondo is not here. Once 
you're learning to concentrate, everything become possible. Discipline is the key to the mastering one's abilities. Discipline is the key to Taekwondo. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. Delivery dude's fucking boss is like pissed at him for always being late and calls him out on that bullshit. I want to have a word with you. I can explain. How many times have you been late this week? I'm sorry, but there's no excuse for being late, Min Sook. No excuse. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now, I've put up with this long enough. If you're late one more time, and it makes no difference what the excuse is, I'm going to have to let you go. Do you understand? It's another scene that probably wasn't needed or necessary. Doesn't matter. Oh, dude, you want to talk about a scene that's not necessary? Sure. Delivery boy goes to deliver this fucking pizza, touches the statue's fucking tit, delivers the fucking pizza, yeah, yeah, yeah. and leaves. And that was that's, it. That's, it. that's it! That's it! So this whole scene, scene was there just so he could grab that statue's boob? I guess. But anyway, he's they driving down them. the fucking road and Chris is not paying attention and fucking hits him. What a waste of fucking film. This whole movie's a waste the of fucking film. How would you film. feel that for? I'm glad we're doing a Cynthia Rothrock movie Dude. next fucking week. Dude, I like Cynthia. She kicked ass back in the day. So they have this awesome fucking dialogue where he's ranting for a little bit. I just didn't see you. Oh, it's you again. Are you all right? Well, having just been run over by a car, I think I'm in extremely good shape. Who taught you how to drive? Oh, great, just great. This really is not my day. Where's my friend? Then my boss? Not my bike. And then she offers to take him home and all that fucking shit. She, she fucking... She hit him. Yeah. With a car. And she apologized and wanted to pay for the bike, and he's like, no, I, you can't. I got it at a pawn shop. Yeah, but shop. his bike was fucked. Like, the well, tire yeah. was off. Yeah. He looked jacked. Like, she hit him hard, man. And all of a sudden, she's like, damn right about it. I take you home. It's all good. I'm like, fuck you. No, dude, she tried to pay. He was the one paying the fucking dick. She's like, I gotta at least take you to the hospital. He's like, no. So anyway, she takes him home and meets Grandpa, and they fucking talk. My grandson has forgotten his manners. He has forgotten to introduce hers. I'm sorry. I'm Crystal. Glad to meet you. I am Minsuk's grandfather. Please come inside. He never mentions a friend like you. How long you have known him? Well, you could say we just ran into each other. I hope my grandson did not damage your car. Oh, no. It was my fault. I didn't see him, and I ran into him. He must not pay attention either for you two to have accident. No, really. It was my fault. I will talk with him about it. It is nice to meet no, you. Yeah, no, no. And then he's like, I hit your grandson or whatever the fuck he's it is. He's like, it was his fault anyway. Yeah. He was there. You came up from behind. You're going way too it. fast. I know. I'm, but I don't want to be sitting here for 10 I minutes know, to get that sentence out. <laughs> he's sitting there for like 10 minutes listening to uh, him struggle to get his lines out. And at one point, it looks like he had his fucking, he had the script in front of him, because he could see it. It looked like it was, yeah. Like, and then we no. take a, we yeah, take a run, because so, anyway. that's the most important thing. In they go to check out training. the backyard training yeah. equipment of Delivery yeah. Boy and stuff. Because, yeah, that's what you want to do. And then we find out the delivery from. guy got fucking fired from the police. From the, the police. police. The pizza joint because he got hit. The pizza police. Great. It's just been one damn thing after another. Minza! Sorry, grandfather. But I was just talking to my boss on the phone. I tried to tell him that I was going to be late. But all he said to me was that I was uh, fired. Fired? But why? I was trying to explain to him that I was had an accident, but he just wouldn't listen. I'm sorry. Now what am I gonna do? And Chris you know, offers to part. pay Grandpa for training. Well, you could teach me. I can pay you. You? You have got to be kidding. After all that you've done to me? Forget it. But I can pay him more than he was making at that old pizza place. It is not a question of money. One student cannot teach another. 
But you're teaching him. Can't you teach me too? Me? No. I am but an old man. But you could if you wanted to. He's not taking any students. He's got me, okay? He's right. I cannot take any more students. But I wanted to have... I am sorry. And he's like, no, no. You can do, like, you know, I have too much chores to do and too much other training. Yeah, so she was like, I'll do the chores, big mistake. Yeah. Because he was like, here, take my hoe, ho. ho. Yeah, yeah, made her do some shit. Well, those two did some jumping jacks in the back or jumped around. Or did whatever. something. Yeah, they were hitting. Oh, back. but then guess what? Cut to a pool party for absolutely no fucking reason whatsoever. Right? Well, she was with her friends? Did you really see too much? Yeah, that? but she had some awful dialogue where it seemed like she couldn't fucking finish her lines properly here. None of them could. Chris, hold on a second. Oh, hi, Dirk. Hi. Hi. Oh, I guess you didn't recognize me, huh? Must be the sunglasses. Hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you what a great party this is. Well, it was my mom's idea. She thinks if I don't have a party every once in a while, I might turn into a nun or something. <laughs> oh, listen, also, I wanted to tell you what great pate this is you have here. Well, what kind is it? Because it's really good. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like cat food. You know, sometimes she does forget and leave their food dishes on the countertop. So where are you heading? Well, we're almost out of soda. I was just going to run to the store. You need a hand? Uh, we could take my car. I just had it cleaned. Oh, that's okay. I can manage. So now... Well, they weren't really actors, were they? I mean, they, these were all, like, first-timer people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can't give them too much shit. So then we cut to Chris trying to convince Grandpa once again to train her. Listen, I dropped by to see if you changed your mind. I'm listening. I could pay you $40 a week. 50 a week? Mister, this has nothing to do with money. I would gladly train you for free if I could. But I'm not as young as I used to be. I cannot take away time from my duty or from my grandson training. Well, I'm sorry I bothered you. To be er, my students, it takes dedications, determinations, and discipline. This is where she picks up the hoe and offers to do the chores and all that fuck. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. I didn't care. It does really does not matter. Because it was an hour and 30 minutes of waste of time. And then blah, blah, fucking blah, blah, Grandpa tells Delivery Dude and the other dude that they're going to be training with Chris. Ninza, I have a good news for you. Oh, you don't mean... Yes. I'm not training with her. I will. And why not? Well, she's a girl. So she is. Are you afraid of a little girl? But I already have someone to train with. David Lee is not in good shape for practice. If you want to train for tournament properly, you will need someone else. Oh, you chowderhead. Sorry, it's not like I meant to break my arm. Then it's better. So now we get a montage, which isn't a montage, it's just whole fucking scenes with the same I music played over top of them running forever. Straight fucking and then we get to see them catching, trying to catch barehanded fish, because, well, here, here's Grandpa explaining. Barehanded fish? Here's Grandpa explaining about catching fish barehanded. Grandfather, what are you doing? What good things I'm doing? What kind of dummy trying to catch the fish with your bare hands? You will see what's happened. Beat and accuracy. I bet I get one first. 
And then they all jump in and they're all trying to catch a fucking fish. Yeah, they dive into the water like that's yeah. going to piss out every fish in the 10-mile radius, you know? And then we cut to more running, but this time through water. Oh, you know, yeah. like, oh shit, through water now. Yeah. And now we cut to fucking underwater fall meditation. Of course. Always. Like, dude, that's been like every martial arts film from the 80s, you know, or the late 80s, 90s, you know what I mean? Like, the standing out of the waterfall doing this, like, you know, with the flute music playing, your eyes are shut. Oh, did we forget to mention this is a complete karate kid fucking ripoff? I think we forgot to mention that. But it is. It is. This is the stupidest movie. So we cut back home for more fucking backyard training where fucking Chris kicks dude in the fucking face and he gets all pissy about it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I guess I need to work on my control. You tried to run me over with your car, ruining my bike. Are you trying to ruin my life? You know what your problem is? Your problem is you just have a bad attitude. Oh, no, you're trying to tell me how I feel. Next, you'll be trying to tell me what to do and how to do it. I refuse to train with the girl. Well, good. Why don't you quit? Huh, no, the question is, why don't you quit? Why don't you both quit? I guess as you would. Mommy, yeah, I mean, you know, kick, chick, I mean, chick kicks you in the fucking face with her high kicks, you know what I mean? Uh, cut to... High tops. Cut to more chores and breaking boards. They, they fight more boards in this movie than they fight fucking people. Yes. I would just like I mean, to let like, you know okay, that. Well, because she never has... That one dude, the bad guy, okay, that's her boyfriend. But she never has any kind of, like, Scenes real contact with, with the fucker. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, they yeah. never... You know what I mean? Like, they can't text, obviously, back then. But they, they never, never talk. Phone call, they, they never, never kiss. They never see nothing. each other in the mall or whatever. You know what I mean? <sighs> whatever. <sighs> Shitty writing. And this is all still part of the same yeah. montage oh, that's been going on for six minutes. Fuck. But now Grandpa attacks him with a foam bat. And you know, he's attacking the guys like, Dad! Dad! Yeah. Dad! Good! Then he gets to her and he goes all feminine. He's like, like this. He's like, he, who, he. And I was like, don't be a dick about it. Oh, 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 you mean like wax on, wax off, right? <laughs> Who you think you are? Got a kid? Just I need my car wash it. Huh, nice little wax on, wax off reference. Well, then she fucking goes along with she's Well, no, they, no, 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 wait. They go and they wash the car and they have a fun car wash scene forever. Well, she said the wax on, wax off, wax off. <laughs> yeah. Before they did that and said it while... And then afterwards, scrub they're waxing the again. She says it again. Yeah, scrub it up and love in the car. It looks like what? Wax on, wax off. <laughs> oh, you're such a funny person. Right. And I love how his fucking back fucking lights are the plastic yeah, and tape and you're stuff. You're like, good job, blatantly, you know, or, or, or pointing out that you're blatantly ripping off this film. The good one. Uh, cut to more breaking boards. Oh man, I just want to break my face. Oh yeah, guess what? Board. Cut to breaking boards, but a different way. Ooh. Yeah, different now way. we're kicking down. Hiya! Hi Boards that automatically break away anyway. Gia! Go out there and try to kick a real 4x4 four four that's not pre split. And, and see how well that works out. And now them. we cut to them at a restaurant having dinner. You know, Chris, the two dudes, and Grandpa, right? There's a reason why you don't see MMA fighters out there punching fucking boards and shit. And Grandpa, oh, and Grandpa has to, of course, fucking talk some more. Oh, for the love of Pete. I hope you like the Korean food. Well, I've never had Korean food before. Is it anything like Chinese? No, it is much better. What is he 
eating over there. But Chris is just paying attention to the fat dude behind him fucking sucking on a fucking squid. Dude, they brought him a whole squid. <laughs> it lays down in front of him. I would not eat that. I'm like, dude, can you at least cook it a little bit? Did you just boil it and you brought it to me? I don't want to be like... <laughs> Try to slur. You imagine that you're like there. <laughs> <laughs> so I just slurp that. So what do you do? Cut off one leg, drip it in the sauce, and just go blah, 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 and try to swallow it. I don't know. Ew, you know how fucking weird it would feel. Ooh, wait a minute. Ew. <laughs> don't like Ew. Ew. Don't fucking octopuses have like little biter things? Is it with like inside bait? their thingies? Inside their what thingies? The little arm thingies. Well, no, they're not oh. biters. They're suction cups. Okay, they don't have little teeth in them. No, they got the beaks in their fucking in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I knew that. Yum yum yum. I knew it. I'm twenty thousand leagues. I remember that. But I'm saying like. No, they, they're just, they're suction cups. Okay. But still, if I get stuck in it, you're like, ah, 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 ah. Still, yeah, you know, it's sucking to my, thing. all of a sudden the leg comes alive, because you know the fucking thing stay alive for a while. What if it wraps around your larynx and you're like, ah, 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 and it chokes you from the inside out? What are you fucking going to do? Stick your hand down there, get that lock, uh, get that fucking octopus thing, it's trying to choke me out. <laughs> Anyway, I love about eating squid. Who fuck eats squid? I could not eat a squid. They're so cool. So anyway, did I say they're outside the fucking restaurant now and they're confronted by the fucking gang again? Sure. Billy B fucking Kmart sap cutting the whole fucking deal here. Oh, look what we got here. A broken sushi chef. Oh, hello. Oh. It isn't the plastic surgeon's girlfriend. <laughs> Do you know these three trash? Yeah, they're the ones who beat up my friend. Oh, yeah, we feel real bad about that. How is the dog? Is he out of intensive care yet? <laughs> yeah, can we bring him some flowers? Make him feel better? What do you punks want? What do we want? We're looking for a contribution. You feel like making a donation, pops? No, just get out of our way. I don't know why Billy Beef Zapka wants to fuck with him so much anyway. I don't understand. Yeah. They didn't really establish a real beef. I don't fucking know, dude. And I honestly don't fucking care because they try to mug him. Come on. The whole thing. Go. Go. Today. Today, old man. Yeah. Yeah. Today. It is a dollar. That is all I wish to give you, gentlemen. Now, let us go about our business. Oh, 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 just leave us alone. No, don't give these scums anything. You better. We better what? <laughs> better take your damn hands off from man. I had enough of this shit. Hands up! Wait a minute. First, you will let go of the young lady. Oh. Who's gonna make me pop? You? <laughs> But Grandpa, just like Mr. Biagi, fucking whoops that ass! He did, like, now he's stiff as a board, and you think that the first wind would knock him over, all of a sudden he started being agile. Come on! Are you training? Come on! 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 You were very rude to the young lady. I think that you owe her apology. I don't care anymore. You know, they talk about this fucking tournament, and I'm after, like, dude, you just get to it. Oh no, we got lots of stuff before the tournament because oh we cut to home and Grandpa has to tell Dude about the Japanese invasion of fucking Korea. Right. Do you know about Japanese invasion? Oh, well, just a little. When Japanese invaded our country in the 1940, they outlaw all weapons. This include the practice of Taekwondo. Therefore, he was constantly harassed 
by Japanese police. And after, a little bit of, after a little bit of a history lesson, now we get a flashback fight that goes on for fucking ever and it's slow as fucking shit. Yep, 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 yep. But you wanted martial arts in it, so there you go. I, mean, I guess, martial martial thank you. You wanted that, and you are getting it. You were just getting running and standing under waterfalls and slow ass talking. So now we cut. Slow. So now we cut to Chris and Delivery Dude. They're friends now, hanging out on a rock. And we're like, well, how long before they get it on? I just wanted to thank you for sticking up for me. I have to admit, I was pretty scared. Oh, don't mention it. But I just wish my grandfather was just giving me a chance to teach those guys a lesson. I would have really shown just how I felt, you know. You know, he's really lucky to have you as a grandson. You're very special. And I'm glad I ran into you. Oh, <laughs> ran into me? You mean more like ran over me? <laughs> I'm glad that I met you too. But anyway, she runs off because she has to meet her fucking unsupportive mom for dinner. Oh my gosh, what time is it? It's 4.30. I have Why? to go. I forgot. I was just meeting my mother for dinner at 5. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll survive then. You goofball. Wow, fucking um, delivery dude's fucking training by himself in the water, kicking fish, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting for a fish to be like, flying out of the water. Yeah. But then, of course, Billy Beefcake, Kmart, Zapka, and his group of friends come in and hop in the water, and they all they do. whoop his fucking ass and leave him for exactly dead. They knew exactly where he was going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, like they're all badasses whooping on him five to one. So they leave him, and then all of a sudden, you know, we like, cut to grandpa in the fucking cut to hospital. Grandpa in the hospital. He had a heart attack, right? Talk from seeing fucking his grandson's face like squirt fucking blood. Yeah. <laughs> to realize his grandson was gonna go nowhere in life. But yeah. So yeah, and you're like, he's like, like you must not give back for me for being a pussy. And my heart being weak as bugs. <laughs> well, anyway, he does. He does talk to Chris and delivery dude. I feel like how your face looks. How did you do that to your face? I got into a fight. I thought. I told you many, many times never to fight. But it wasn't his fault. It's all because of me. It doesn't matter. What is important now is that you must help each other training for tournaments. The dialogue in this was like, <laughs> Well, dude, what was worse? The slow ass dialogue or the slow ass montage? Because now we got to another slow ass montage with them, guess what? Running. And running. And running. And then rock climbing. Yeah. And then on top of the rock doing their fucking shit. Their shit. Yeah, their shit that would protect you for dick. Yes, let me, let me do this. It, and completely exposed my entire face, and then you kicked me in it and knocked me the fuck out. And, I'm too busy going. And, so call you off. And yeah. And guess so. Guess what? More fucking running. And then blah blah fucking blah. They fucking make out. I don't fucking care. Here in this earlier in this scene is where she talks about having her boyfriend Billy here. You here, say here, a little here, 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 here. So now there is twelve minutes left in this movie, and we finally get the tournament. No. No, that does not happen. What? We get the tournament opening ceremonies oh, for fucking two oh, goddamn right. minutes. Two, four. Where we see all of Texas Taekwondo people coming out with their fucking cowboy hats and goddamn cheerleaders oh, and fucking with this music. Oh, 
that, you're like, oh my god. You're like, dude, like 20 minutes of this shit, and then walking out and introducing, you know, being introduced and everything. Two it's like, minutes. Just get. Two I don't minutes. fucking care. It felt like twenty. But I was like, get to the fucking part. Well, we cut to the fucking locker room where Sideburns here is giving you know like the pep talk to not Cobra Kai. Right. <laughs> right. Anyone who is your opponent is your enemy, and your task is to destroy your enemy completely. If you fail to do this, then you disgrace yourself. And disgrace is the last thing that our students bring to our dojang. Is this fully understood? Yes, sir. He's like, good to kill him, kill him. You know what I mean? But, you know, but you expected that. And then we get an honest yeah. to God, a real honest to God breaking montage. See how quick and fast that was? Yeah. That's a fucking montage. That's a montage. I mean, Take I think, it to I, the limit. Dude, I'm... Limit. Limit. I swear they, they somebody else filmed that. Yeah, that yeah. They filmed that and then... Oh, the speaking of the writer-director oh of this God. movie oh. is the dude that trained Willie Nelson to be his fifth, fifth degree black belt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There's a little fucking dingeter dingeter fact for you. Dingeter dingeter dinger. <laughs> my brain is seeping out my ear, dude. Was Willie Nelson high as shit for that? Dude? I would assume so. Dude's high as shit all the time. So now we cut to some fights that weren't filmed at the tournament, obviously, because it's just a black background. <laughs> and then we finally get Chris in her first fight, right? And we're like, all right, here we go. Fucking well, fight. Ted Turner's looking on. But we never see the end of the fight. No. We honestly never do. It just cuts away. You're like, what? So it says the final match. Oh. The man's final match for the national championship will be between Bobby Smith and Min So Kim. With, with fucking the delivery dude and one of the not Cobra Kai. So obviously he fucking wins. And but they said, didn't they say like this is the final match? I thought and so. And you get that, you're like, okay, this is the final match, and it gets done, and they're like, this is not much for climbing. And then they're like, now time for the final final match. And then here Chris versus some random chick, right. and Chris sucks. 
Dude, if you want to sit here, <laughs> if you want to sit here and listen to her for like a straight hour, going, aya, 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 with the same kick for like at least not like an hour. But guess what? Yeah. She fucking wins. She wins, and you're like, yay! I don't care. Just get to the end. Then they will grant Grandpa Paul wills over. In, yeah. He grabs both of them. Lives. They give. Things. They give him the their medals. Oh yeah, of course, medals. Credits. That meant nothing. And they're like, yay! So I'm, I'm sorry that the first movie in Marshall August has no Marshall artists in it. In August at all. <laughs> no, this was horror fucking <laughs> like, Next week, Cynthia Rothrock. Yes, that will have actual martial arts in it. Yes, it will. an actual martial artist. Yes. Yes. It still is, obviously. But, well, I don't uh, know. I haven't seen her in a long time. I don't know well, I'm sure she can still whoop our ass. Well, dude, a fucking grandpa in real life could have whooped our <laughs> ass. Grandpa in the movie could have whooped your ass. He could have just talked to us and we would have been like, eh, ooh, eh, ooh. Is that all it takes? <laughs> we can get taken up by verbal assault. Especially that slow and drawn out. On that note, hey, for Gunner and Bird, this has been another one of the worst movies on YouTube. Marshall August has only begun. And it started off rough. But it, it's got to, it only, ha it has to get better, dude. Even if we have to re-watch Miami Connection for a third fucking time. Don't worry, we won't do that. No, we won't do that. Will we? Because I'll kill you and bury you. Dude, you what? You would rather watch what we just watched now than watch fucking Miami Connection again? I could watch Miami Connection 80 times over again than watch this fucking bullshit one more time. I guess I can watch it again. On that note, we'll see you next week. You have more love for that movie than I do. I don't know if I could stand it one more time. Dude, that movie is fucking awesome. Yes, I gotta pee. But I won't be able to finish my deliveries now. Well, I could help you out if you need. You? How? Well, since I was the one who wrecked your bike in the first place, I guess it's only fair I help you out with your delivery. Ah, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I've seen how you drive. No, really. Let me help you. <sighs> no thanks. You've done quite enough. If anybody ever wanted to know what birds taste in music is, this is it. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Golden Girls.